morning, Monday morning. So even though I'm in the blue skies and the warmth, just, just Monday mornings everywhere you go. We're at Altamira this morning. Five bedroom, five bathroom. One of those is a cottage. Beautiful property, sitting on over an acre of land. I'm going about this a slightly cock hoop way because I'm going to show you the cottage first and then concentrate on the pool and the main house. So this is the cottage. Not really furnished. Not really furnished, really not furnished. <laughs> but done in the chapel house style, absolutely. It's lovely, it's very cool in here as well. It's a hot day and that's cool. It's a hot day and it's only blasted 10.30. If someone had turned the temperature down actually this morning. Although, having spoken to my friend this morning, who sounds horribly ill, back in the UK, and you know who you are, um, I'm glad for the heat. Please, all of you who are getting on a plane to come over and see properties, hopefully this one in particular, don't bring your lurgies with you. Leave the lurgy at home. Oh, look at this. Not something you see every day. Don't know where that high pitched squeak came from. Dun, dun, dun. You can tell we're in the Caribbean. You better hurry up, dude. There are birds waiting to eat your tail. Right, let's get on with the sensible. To my right is the pool, the main house. This lovely little Pool house stroke gazebo. It's not a gazebo because there's a gazebo on the other side. Like I said, about an acre of land. I'm kind of half jogging up here because uh, it's going to be a long video. It's definitely going to be a long video. Look at that view, guys. Oh my goodness, I've done an aerial on this as well, which will appear at some stage. special isn't it? Go to the pool and then I'll show you. Hope you can hear me with the wind. I just want to get in there. In. That's the guest cottage there, of course, and the garden shed there. Fabulous. High trees there to block off the neighbour because there is a neighbour there. If you want to get the feet in the middle of nowhere up here, you are only five minutes from the beach, if that. And to one of the best beaches, Gibbs. Ninety-nine percent of you. Right, you're on the side of a gully, and of course, any time you own a property in Barbados, you own halfway into the gully. So you own another good six, seven hundred, eight hundred feet of land because you own you own to the middle of that gully. That being said, there's not an enormous amount you can do with it. Quite nice to know it's your land. And further along here, which I'm not going to video, at the end of that fence line, there is a, a gate. So you can go out there. It's quite flat up that end, and then it drops off quite substantially. These things normally don't show very well on a video, but that's not really what we concentrate on here. Taking the three trees down there just to allow more light into the property. But it, it, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous and serene. I know I say that about all my properties. My properties, really, Alex. But there's a Certain panache here. Some might say it's a bit dated with the panel type ceiling. So easily changed. Things like that are so easily changed. Uh, the gentleman owner, or the owner, gentleman, come up with some rubbish, uh, has lived here for many years. So maintenance has been 
undertaken regularly. This is lovely, this room. You sort of step down into the... Oh, I got caught by the mirror. Yes, again. Oh, that's a battle I'm going to lose today. The bathtub. No. Bathtub, you say? Stairs, you say? Surely not. Anyway, you step down to the bath. You have a shower on this floor, which is the same floor as the bed. Uh, Walk-in closet to the right-hand side over there. And a wonderful big marble countertop for the sink. Beautiful. Really beautiful property. Wait. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. Now, these grills on the right-hand side, they're more an old-school thing. I would certainly, if it was someone buying in this day and age, you would 99% of people take the bars off and have a security system. You can have a security system that runs lasers. Uh, you can have a security system that runs here or runs further out. It, it, it's not relevant. It, it's just that grills and bars are not the taste of 2019, but don't let that put you off. It's actually quite nice to have as well, I must say, in this instance, because these doors all open up. Once they open up, you don't really notice they're there. They're not... What's the word? Oh, I'll find the word. I'll find the word in about 15 minutes. Bring it up and no one will know what the hell I'm talking about. Another large bedroom. Bedroom number two, if you like. Air conditioning and fans again. Ensuite bathroom again. This one's just a shower. You know, if someone said, oh, how do you modernise it? Meh, bathrooms maybe. Bathrooms, maybe some ceiling work. Take out the grills. Tiling all seems nice. Look at, look at this tiling. I look at this from a developer's point of view, as many of you know, I'm by, by trade, I'm a developer. <laughs> and by night, I am Batman. Um, I didn't think I could laugh this morning. I've had a horrible day. Getting blamed for things that aren't my fault. Oh, boo-hoo. Poor you. Bedroom number three. Okay, bedroom number three. Fan, air conditioning again, ensuite bathroom again. All the bathrooms are slightly different in style. This one is a bath and shower combined. The one next door was shower only. The one at the end had a bath and a separate shower. Very nice. This whole place is built around what looks like a mill. My colleague, who's newly joined the company and has been a great asset, I'm not even looking that way because she's now waving around the corridor. <laughs> Look at this. Ah. Oh. I say, isn't that just fabulous? Look at the old coral in here. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Now they use it as a bar. But it makes perfectly good sense. Could also be a, stair a stairwell and you could have a viewing platform up there, but that's going a bit nuts. Um, there's a lovely light in here. I don't know if the video portrays that light, but there really is. Talking about modernizations and the such like, Maybe that should be knocked through. But that's one of the cheapest things in the world. Look at the width of these walls. Look at that. It's a good foot deep. It's an original coral wall. Fantastic. This is an extension. It's in keeping. Now, this dining table here is a 12-seater. It takes up no room. I mean, I know I harp on about that in my videos, but it really gives you an idea of how big this extension is. The breeze through here is beautiful. It's stunning. Um, slight change of lighting. Take out those blasted grills. I'm just not a fan of grills. Don't get me wrong. I'm not being rude about the house. I'm not being unkind. I just don't like grills. I think it's because where I grew up in Kingston, my father was crying, oh, you've got to have grills and keep the buggers out sort of thing. Well, yeah, all right. Got to live life a little. Next door is the office area. <laughs> I have, I've really become a real estate agent. I stay at the office and this, everybody, is a light. Not just your normal light. This is a stand on the desk light, otherwise known as a desk light. And what is this we have here? A chandelier, surely not. Yes, it is. Right, moving on. Another chandelier. Surely not. Yes, it is. Anyway, that's your view. Now, let's have a look out here. Now, we might catch my colleague out here now. Dun, dun, dun. 
Look at this outdoor seating area. Now this really is classic Bajan. When I was doing a development on the west coast called Beachlands, one of the houses had the same thing. And the only problem when you're on a beach is everyone can see in on you. Here, no, not an issue. So they planted trees like that all around the outside and I swear you could not see in. Beautiful. Feels, it literally feels like you're in your own little cosy lock away. Right, onto the kitchen. Kitchen feels really summery. I know that might sound ridiculous and I don't know if that makes sense. Again, reminds a little bit of... I remember as a kid waking up in England on a summer's day and just really enjoying the fact it was sunny and it just brightened everything up. This kitchen just seems to have that naturally. You just, you, you come in here and it's sort of, it's uplifting. Then again, maybe it's just because I'm having a really bad Monday morning. God, we're on 11 minutes already. The pantry, fridge, no, really? And this would be out to the car parking where we'll go in a minute. So if you come in with heavy shopping and whatever, you don't have to traipse through the house to get to the kitchen and the pantry to put it away. Extra bedroom on the side. Again, drop ceilings, could easily be altered, not a problem. Lovely big king size bed in here. Gorgeous. Do love a big bed. <laughs> You're a big fella. You do love a big bed. This is where I lose out to the mirror. Just make sure I'm looking beautiful. Hello, everybody. And no, I'm not looking beautiful. Uh, ensuite bathroom again. This one is just a shower. Biggie boo. And out we go. So. I am going to finish, I forgot I did the cottage first, I must be honest, I'm going to finish looking out to sea I think, because when the video offers me a thumbnail to advertise, gosh sometimes it gives me the most absurd things and it just doesn't work, but we're going to stop on this, and the longer I stay on this the more likely I am to have that as a thumbnail, anyway 12 minutes in, available at www.barbados-realestate.com Altamira, well worth a look people. Uh, alternatively you can call on one, which is a US, so from the UK it's 001 of course, it's 1246 266 2323, um, but I always suggest drop us an email. Thanks so much.